Hello and welcome to Ask Failed on TV. Today we're going to be talking about Denny's. For those of you who don't know, Denny's is a restaurant known primarily for two things. The first is a menu item known as the Grand Slam, which I must say is a reprehensible foodstuff. You see, the Grand Slam is to your stomach what a vasectomy is to your penis, just overall unpleasant. The second thing that Denny's is known for is their increasingly obnoxious commercials. If you watch a lot of internet videos on blip.tv, then you'll probably know about all the ones I'm going to talk about. So please, come with me as we take a look at three ads regarding America's Kitchen. And by the way, if it really was America's Kitchen as they claim it is, I'd start filling out those change of address forms now. Let's start this journey into this congregation of calories by taking a look at one of the first ads that permeated the internet over the last year or so. This is called Triangle Meal, and it exists solely to tell you that Denny's offers food. Let's take a look. Skillet entree, appetizer, and dessert. Yes, food. All for $8.99. Now that's what I call a square meal. Now you might be thinking that all is well so far, right? I mean, come on, $8 for a three-course meal? That's gotta be okay, right? Wrong! What kind of stupid-ass restaurant is gonna make you take your appetizer, entree, and dessert all at the same time? That doesn't make any sense. Verisimilitude compromised. But wouldn't three courses make it a triangle meal? No, because that's not a saying, you stupid little girl. Now shut up and drink your Pepto-Bismol. Yes, I, I should have said it's a well-rounded meal. No, no you shouldn't have. Your daughter is wrong. It's about time you introduce her to the fact that the random shit she says ain't cute anymore. It's wrong and it makes her look stupid. So, it's a circle meal? I hate you. It's both. Waitress? Look dude, unless that waitress is secretly working for the adoption agency, I doubt there's much she's gonna be able to do for you. So that was a triangle meal. Overall stupid, but harmless, right? <laughs> well, we're just getting started. Our next ad is called Baconalia, and I gotta say, I love bacon. I mean, you know a food is good if certain religions just outright ban it. And I don't care what religion you are, there's something wrong with you if you don't think that the pig is dying for your sins to give you bacon. And Denny's wants to celebrate this special sacrifice as well in the form of Baconalia. And this is the commercial that they rolled out to celebrate this special occasion. Remember the last time we celebrated Baconalia? Oh, I was just thinking about that. I mean, look, I like food too, but when I'm eating food, I'm usually not thinking about the last time I had the food that I'm currently eating. The day not unlike today. In fact, you had the ultimate bacon breakfast. I think somebody should give Jeremy Piven a call. His clone's on the loose. Yeah, and you had the bacon avocado omelet. omelet. You remember. Bacon avocado omelet, huh? That actually sounds gross. Yeah, gross. That sounds fucking disgusting. Guys. That was today. You were here for breakfast. Well, thanks, Jenny Buzzkill. I mean, come on, we're just in remembrance of the last time we had fake bacon. Of course we were here for breakfast. Uh, yeah, we eat at Denny's like three times a day. We've got more money than Scrooge McDuck and the metabolism of fucking Hermes. Bacon lovers rejoice. Baconalia is back, now with even more bacon. Yeah, we've decided to be nice here at Denny's, and instead of giving you two strips of bacon, we're gonna give you four. I think we even had the same waitress. Well, that's because there's only seven people in the store. You've got you three, the sketchy couple by the window over there, probably telling a racist joke, and then there's the group in the corner that's probably jamming quarters into the salt shakers. So, that was the Baconalia ad. Still overall harmless, right? Well, now we're getting into our final ad. This last ad is one that celebrates patriotism in America, all for the 4th of July. Now, I gotta tell you, I'm as patriotic as the next guy. I mean, I take my hat off when I'm required to at a sporting event. But how can a breakfast chain that serves perplexingly unhealthy food possibly be patriotic? Well, let's find out. So maybe I just don't eat enough pancakes, but is that blueberry, strawberry, whipped cream, and icing? Red, white, and blue pancakes, huh? What do they taste like? You know, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say sugar. America? I'm sorry, huh? America? Yeah, you know, you know, I'm sorry. I, I think I might have just had something in my ear. Did you just say America without the A? Unironically? Is that really all it takes for pancakes to be considered patriotic or American? Just put some red, white, and blue stuff on it? Hey guys, I just made pancakes. I just threw some blood, windshield wiper fluid, and mayonnaise on it. What's that taste like? America. Poison. Salt. Wow, who knew Clint Eastwood was such a good salesman? 
Experience the taste of America at Denny's. Introducing red, white, and blue plate specials. I'm sorry, all I see is a burger, a couple plates of slop, and some milkshakes to go with it. So those were the trio of Denny's ads. On their own, they may seem harmless, but make no mistake. If played ad nauseum, these ads will burrow into your skull until you become nothing but a ball of misery, hating things that you shouldn't hate. The Triangle Meal ad makes you hate children, the Baconalia ad makes you hate bacon, and the America ad makes you hate freedom. Well, you see, folks, I, for one, shall not stand for this. I'm going to exercise my right to free speech, and I shall say loud, and I shall say proud, that IHOP is better anyway. I'm Chris the Nerd, and thanks for watching As Failed on TV. Denny's wants to celebrate this special spe- Sacrifice. That is not a word. You gotta look. Fuck you, frogs. Fuck you there, and fuck you there. Fuck you, frogs. I'm louder than you fucking frogs. That shut you fucking frogs up, didn't it? <laughs>